When you think back on your life, how many people have you run into that you are likely never to forget? What was it about them that made them stand out? Well, I recently met a man in Bullock County that not only I will never forget, but neither will most people who know him and care for him. By the time most people turn 90 years old, they're retired and taking life a little easier. That is not the case for Lanny Lee, president of Bullock County Farm Bureau. Now, before he became president, he was the vice president there for 34 years. Not only does he go into the office three or four times a week, he's still an active farmer. One thing I'll never forget about him is his laugh. I, I guess that was born to me. You know. <laughs> Just uh, hereditary. <laughs> well, I'm all, <clears throat> I always feel good. I, I very seldom feel bad. And I... I never had a headache, I can truthfully say. <laughs> it, 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 it's hard to believe, in. it? So many memories, so many wonderful stories. I was born and raised here on November the 17th, 1920. And right over here, uh, we used to be a bedroom, and that's the bedroom I was born in. The house has been remodeled twice since his birth. He used to go to school on a horse and buggy, and then a Model T, and even a bicycle. And what does he remember most about the farm as a child? When I was uh, about nine, ten years old, we used to pull fodder to help make, have food for the meals to eat in the wintertime. He was drafted December 19, 1942, and served his country in England as a mechanic in the 8th Air Force. His priorities in life, God, family, and agriculture. I attribute my upbringing to my parents. They were good Christian people, and, and uh, they brought us up right, I guess, and faith in God, put faith in God and put Him first, and everything else will kind of take place. His wife died in 1992 after 42 years of marriage. They had three children, two girls and a son, and now five grandchildren. Their pictures are scattered around his home. He's absolutely one of the most fun-loving people I've ever met, and to find someone who has been alive for 90 years, still have the perspective, the good perspective on life that he has, and to be able to tell all the stories that he has, it's always been a pleasure of mine to even be around him. And to top it off, as I said earlier, he's literally an active farmer. Well, I farm, uh, I got 50 acres of corn this year and uh, 31 acres of peanuts and uh, about two acres of sugar cane. And that's not all. He works two other farms, one 32 acres and the other 26 acres. And he does it all pretty much on his own from start to finish with only a little help from others. You had to love the land, you love the farm to, to be a farmer, work hard, be honest <laughs> about everything. Do you ever plan to retire? Well, I think about it sometime. I often wonder what I'm going to do if I get to where I can't drive. or <laughs> drive my pickup truck or drive a tractor. <laughs> I, I think about it sometime, but I don't dwell on it. And what do you hope your legacy will be? Well, I hope to say that's been one tough knocker. <laughs> well, I hope they'll have something good. <laughs>